Well, virtual school can be a logistical nightmare for working parents, forcing some to choose between working to support their families or staying home with their kids. As NBC 15's Justin Moore reports, some mobile churches are stepping up to help. Justin. That's right, Greg. Two Midtown churches are giving some students a safe place to do their virtual learning while their parents are making a living. Type in your name. Third grader Deshaun is about to take a quiz through his virtual class with the guidance from a Dolphin Way United Methodist Church volunteer. Are you ready to submit? Hit it. The Midtown Church turned its Sunday school classrooms into spaces for 12 Lonecoff Elementary students, giving them a free and safe place to do virtual learning while their parents are at work. We are trying to meet a need that um, was seen in the community to help out these parents that need to work and these kids that need to go to school. For six hours a day, volunteers make sure students stay on track with their online classes, even providing lunch prepared by Mobile County Public Schools. These kids are just so sweet. A lot of the parents have expressed to me specifically that it was between quitting their jobs and not being able to provide for their families and, as opposed to finding a safe space for their students. Brittany Poench is the counselor at Lyonkoff. She's responsible for bridging this relationship between parents and Dolphin Way Methodist Church. Poench even has a waiting list of working parents looking for safe spaces for their children. We are still in need of space for all of our students. I know I've gotten calls from other schools as well. Three Circle Church Midtown is doing the same thing for about 10 students. Pastor Michael Gaston hopes soon he can add up to 35 students. So we feel like it's an opportunity for the church to step up and just love and serve families well. Both churches are facing the issue of not having enough volunteers, making it difficult to extend the hours of operation and add more students. We have to end at 1.30 because of just the strain of volunteers having to go pick up their own children from school. What do we tell the volunteers today? What do y'all say? Thank you. Now, both churches are taking significant measures to make sure no one gets sick from coronavirus. Those measures include social distancing, uh, spraying down the classrooms after everyone leaves, and temperature checks. Greg?